Hi there! Want to create a scene with fireflies in Photoshop? Then you're in the right place. In this tutorial, we'll be creating a scene like this. To create this, we'll be using some assets from Envato Elements. It's a great resource for all your Photoshop needs. It has a large collection of professional quality lighting effects and actions which you can put to work in your projects right away. Check out the description for links to both the assets I'm using and many different Photoshop lighting effects. First, let's start with the grass stock. We just want to use the grass, so the first thing we'll do is remove the rabbit. Flip the image, go to Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal. Now let's crop the image. Select the Crop tool and crop it like this. Now let's remove the rabbit. Select the Rectangular Marquee tool, then make a selection of some grass on the left side. Copy and paste the selection onto a new layer and rename it Rabbit. Now flip the grass, go to Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal then place it over the rabbit. Now add a layer mask to this layer. Then, use a soft round brush to mask away the harsh edges of the square. Now let's work on the glass jar. We'll need to remove it from the white background. Open the glass jar image in Photoshop, then double click the background layer to make it a normal one. Use the magic wand tool to select the white background. Then delete your selection to remove it completely. Create a new layer, then copy and paste the jar onto the grass. Use the free transform tool to rotate the jar at a slight angle. If you're using an image similar to this one, then you'll notice the inside is white just like the background. To make it more see-through, like an actual glass jar, we'll need to do the following steps. Select the jar layer and then invert it. This will turn it mostly black. Create a new group and place the jar layer inside. Set the layer blend mode of the jar to screen and then create duplicates now select all the layers in a group and right click to merge them together. Make sure these layers are set to screen. Next, add a layer mask. Use a hard round brush to paint black onto the layer mask to remove the white reflection. Then duplicate this layer along with the new mask, setting the opacity of the copy to 50%. Now we have a clean glass jar that looks super realistic. Color correct the jar for more contrast and authenticity. Create a new layer above the jar group Right click to set this layer as a clipping mask to the group. Fill the layer with a pale pink color using the paint bucket tool before selecting the layer blend mode to color burn. Now paint shadow onto the jar. This step will help take away from the hash white lines. Create a new layer above the pink color fill and set it as a clipping mask to the jar group as well. Use a soft round brush to paint a brown shadow all around the edges of the glass. Continue to paint more shadow on the bottom of the jar as well. Layer the color as you go, then set the layer blend mode to multiply. And there you go, we have a jar. Let's add another. Select all the layers in the first jar and then duplicate them. Arrange your jars until they look natural. Now that our jars are set in place, we can start to add fireflies. Keep in mind that these add real fireflies, but we're going to change them so they glow. Copy and paste the fly onto a new layer below both jar groups. Use the free transform tool to resize the fly, making it smaller. Position the fly above the jar. To brighten the lighting on the fly, add a new adjustment layer of curves above it and set it as a clipping mask for the fly layer. Adjust the curves for the RGB, green and blue channels as follows. Then merge the adjustment and fly layers together. Now we need to create more flies. With the merge layer selected, go ahead and duplicate to create more flies. About 10 should do. Position each new fly around the jazz. Now let's add one last fly. Copy and paste the original fly onto a new layer, then flip it. This fly will be flying from the right side, so resize it to be larger than the rest. To enhance the depth of field, blur the right fly. Select the layer and go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and add in a radius of 25 pixels. Now that all the flies are in place, we can cover the bottom of the jazz with grass, so they fit perfectly into the ground. Use the Marquee tool to make a selection of the jazz underneath the jazz. Copy and paste two copies of the grass onto the new layers. Position each piece of grass over the bottom of the jazz then merge the layers together. Then you can refine the grass from here. Next we'll start making this a little more shiny. Copy and paste the scary night stock onto a new layer above the rest. Set the layer blend mode to screen and opacity to 87%. This layer will instantly add a flurry of stats to the screen. Adjust the intensity with a simple layer mask. Change the color scheme with a few adjustment layers. To change the scene from day to night, add a new adjustment layer of color lookup. 
Set this setting to nightfromj.cube. Then set the layer blend mode to hard light and the opacity to 73%. Next, add a new adjustment layer of a gradient map. Set the color to a dark red to a lighter red, then set the layer blend mode to linear dodge. Lower the opacity to about 30%. Continue adjusting the colors. Add another new adjustment layer of color lookup. Set this setting to candlelight.cube and the opacity to 71%. Then follow up with another new adjustment layer of gradient map. Set the color to blue, yellow, and pink preset, and then lower the opacity to 30%, and then make sure to change this layer blend to hue. Now let's create a shadow effect to draw some more attention to the jazz and fireflies. Create a new layer set to multiply above the rest. Use a soft round brush with the color brown all around the edges of the composition. Bring some of the brown into the grass to tie it all together. Let's brighten up the scene with some light. Create a new layer above the rest, use a soft round brush, and paint a yellow color onto the ends of each fly. Then create another new layer above the previous one and set it to overlay. Now paint glow around the jazz, flies, and grass with a much brighter yellow. Adjust the layer opacity as needed. Let's finish up with a few more color adjustments. Start with a new adjustment layer of selective color. Adjust the values for the reds, yellows, neutrals, whites, and blacks to the following. Then create a new adjustment layer of color balance. Set the values for the shadows, midtones, and highlights to the following. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked the video, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.